So today I'm working with the Jane Davenport color sticks and um, they remind me a lot of the the gelato crayons if you've ever seen those they come in different sets and you can get like tropical sets or you can get starter sets um, kind of similar packaging the Jane Davenport one is triangular and the Faber-Castell or Faber-Castell packaging is more round but they've got the same kind of like lipstick tube thing going on um, and right now I'm working on kind of a winter scene and down here are the gelatos so this is what I did with the gelatos I did um, a couple different colors here and I just kind of smeared them with a makeup applicator that you can get you can get a bunch of these at the dollar store or whatever for super cheap and so this is my smeary background and as you can see they do go on a lot like a lot like the uh, gelatos in fact I'm going to be adding a little bit of the gelato white up here in this section to kind of pastel it out. Um, and I wasn't really sure about these. These are probably, I want to say, the color, the color sticks are probably one of the lesser expensive Jane Davenport things. And I saw them and I wanted to buy them because I'm really kind of addicted to Jane Davenport stuff. And then um, I decided, why not? It was 14 bucks for a set of for a set of 12. And one of the nice things that the Jane Davenport products are coming out with are um, these color cards, these color swatch cards. So you can kind of see how they look before you use them. A couple other products that I've bought of hers have had this card in. What I really wish though is that the cards were, um, rather than all being kind of the same size, would fit like within the packaging because like this, I'll have to like trim it at the quarter, corners. So you can just kind of see what you're looking at. And so I did a little test spot here. And these actually smooth, I think a lot nicer than the gelatos do. The color just seems a lot more, it seems to hold on better and not, it's not as, quite as smeary and um, there's more depth and richness to it. Granted I used uh, pastel gelatos for um, what I did down below but I've owned gelatos in the past like the darker colored ones and I was never that particularly impressed with them because they seemed like they were more mess than um, then the effort really seemed worth going for because it was just like you have this big gooey mess and then you have to kind of be really super careful with it and there was a lot of like flaking off like even if you look on here so you can if you look on here you can see like where all kind of like came off in flakes like if you were pressing like a crayon too hard or something and the Jane Davenport ones don't seem to do that and as you can see the color comes out really nicely and they seem to blend pretty well too with the gelatos so if you have gelatos already you can kind of mix the two and sort of get more for your more movement for your money, I guess, or what have you. But this will eventually become a Christmas card scene for um, that I will put up on Redbubble with snowflakes and that kind of thing. But I just thought you guys would like to see how they how the um, color sticks worked out and like here's the yellow. 
this is going to be kind of like the apex. Just kind of spread it out here. I started out swirling and that didn't really look good, did it? So you just kind of spread it out and spread it out. And you know, if you make a mistake, you can always go over and paint it white and start again. That's never a big deal. Um, because it's art and you're supposed to have fun with it. But this is sort of for the night sky, but I know it looks like there's a big sun in the middle of the sky right now, but the piece that's gonna be here is actually supposed to be illuminated. So I was kind of just pre-prepping for that. And usually I do my foreground long before I do my background, like the background comes last. But this is one of those cases where I wanted to do the background because the background was going to be the gelatos and the um, and the color sticks and um, they tend to do better if you like do them and then you seal it really really well and then kind of just paint on top or do whatever whatever medium you're going for on top. And just have this as kind of the background. If you do like a textured thing with it um, or use stencils, you will have lines underneath the stencils. Like you'll you'll have lines if you paint over the stencils with another color from where the uh, the the color sticks or the gelatos were because they are a dimensional product. It's not it's not like a thin coat of paint because these are pretty thick. But I think that these are actually quite lovely. And I would totally spend the $13 again on them. In fact, I probably will to buy the other set, which were the uh, warm tones, because I got the, the cool tones. It seems that she's taking on a kind of like a makeup like look now for a lot of her stuff which I think is kind of silly but my opinion doesn't really matter in that regard because obviously I'm still buying it so <laughs> we just it's a cute concept but I also feel like it kind of boxes I don't know boxes you in with what you can do with it or makes you think I makes you think what you can do with it is it's being presented as such so we'll see but see there's the darker there's the lighter that's gonna get smoothed out a lot more um, but I'm gonna have to take a rag to it overall I would have to say I'm pretty happy with these We'll see in the end when I seal it all. Thank you for uh, watching for this uh, nine minutes of me rambling again about my art. Um, subscribe, like it, comment. I'll try and respond if you have any questions.